So, in my recovery, I have been learning many different things at my level, my pace. Because I'm literally 10% of the person I used to be. So for me, I was due to a car accident. I suffer from traumatic brain injury and whatnot. So I try to learn different things. One of the things I notice is habits. If you have a habit, you have a cultural war raise. Check it. Check yourself. If you want to do better, however you want to do better, you turn around and you adjust the habits that are not beneficial. If you go to a bar after work, don't. Not because you're going to save a few pennies for the beer. It is so that you go off and use that time to do what? Your paradigm shift. So if you go off and change a habit, you change your outcome friend of mine who's a real estate on the weekends in particular he'll buy every Sunday paper and read every foreclosure, every uh, underpriced piece of land, so forth he'll also read market markets and whatnot to see whether or not they went up or down so he would school himself every day and during the, during the work week he would show up an hour early but in the process of doing so, he would go off, get a newspaper, and read it. Not many people read newspapers these days. But foreclosures, underpriced market, and so forth, they're all part of what he looks for. And that's his habit. He literally turns around and does that. Now, when you look at the gurus, I'm watching Grant Cardone, for example, he talks about mental thinking. How do you approach things? How do you look at things? <coughs> and by sharing or seeing a, a perspective that you, it's alien to you, if it works for you, adopt it. If it doesn't work for you, or part of it does, take what does work and implement it. And then watch how it transforms your life. I go off and I have Dan Pena I watch. And there are parts of his conversation and philosophy that I would adapt. Not one person is your guru necessarily, but a collective of gurus can create a whole new book.